Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I am proud to kick off 1920s week on the Blu-ray Brothers channel. And those of you who just watched that sketch, you can probably figure out that that's what this theme was. And I'm pretty sure we already announced it uh, at the end of last week. But yeah, just about the skit quickly. It's really funny. I've been trying to plan really hard um, each week, actually several weeks ahead of time to try to come up with a really great idea, writing scripts, trying to get something that's good and that I'm going to really love. But the one for 1920s week, I had a very vague idea of what I was going to do. And then I just started filming it. And to me, it turned out better than anything else that I've done. I've already started filming next week's project. Um, I started filming it before this week's. And um, to me, the silent skit came out better. So I think maybe I'm going to start planning a little less and just coming up with things as I go. I think that works a little bit better. So today I'm going to be reviewing the 1920s film The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari which is a amazing film. Um, it was directed by Robert Wien starring Werner Krauss, Conrad Veidt, Frederick Verheer, and Lil Dagover. I just read those off a piece of paper because I'm really bad at pronouncing names especially German names. Um, but I'll probably leave subtitles so that you can see that or maybe down in the description. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's a 1920 um, German film. It's silent film, obviously, and it is considered by some people to be the first true horror movie, which is really cool. And it's definitely a psychological fantasy world that the, the movie takes place in. Um, it's very, very interesting. The sets are out of this world. They purposely overact certain things and characters kind of just behave strangely. Um, and there's a reason for that. Um, the, 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 the person telling the story is um, living inside of an insane asylum, so it's kind of like you're going inside of his mind. In fact, um, even though this, the sets for the insane asylum, um, at least on the outside where you knew it was reality, um, kind of look like the most normal sets in a movie, which I found like to be a really cool thing to do, um, just to set it aside and say, well, this is what's really happening, and the rest is taking place inside of this man's mind. Um, very, very interesting stuff. Um, the film's about a, um, a man named Dr. Caligari. He's this older man, and he has a somnambulist, which um, has been asleep for 23 years, and he sleeps inside of a coffin, and you know he'll get people to come into his sideshow, and um, he'll wake up the sleepwalker, and um, he'll tell people that you can ask him any question, and he'll be able to answer it because he can see the past and the future. And so um, the story starts out when a man asks, "How when will I die?" Um, or I think he asks, "How long will I live?" I can't recall, um, and the the walker ends up replying saying you'll live until dawn which is sort of chilling and the prophecy comes true and so this is what's been going on um, these strange deaths keep occurring and they suspect that uh, the snambulous Caesar that's his name um, has something to do with it and but they they're having a hard time figuring out how they're getting away with it because they watched the guy and he never gets out of the coffin um, but somehow these things are still happening so you have to watch the movie to find out exactly what's going on but there is a really cool um, ending to it and it's definitely a really enjoyable and thrilling movie um, and uh, Kino put out probably the best quality um, version of it. Uh, it's on DVD. I heard that there is a German Blu-ray but I haven't seen it. I don't have access to it so can't say anything about that but the movie was filmed in black and white but it's actually tinted so all of the shots are either like a blue or a like an orangish reddish color and um, it looks very good um, the Kino DVD comes with a newer audio recording um, to accompany the film uh, the music I think was recorded in 1994 I've never seen the film with any other music uh, but I know that it's available in public domain um, so I think there's a lot of different versions, at least there's a lot of different people uploading the full film on YouTube. So if you don't have access to the Kino DVD, um, you can 
check it out on there, but I heard the quality is much, much worse. Uh, and this is one of the few silent films from that's that old that is actually fully intact um, in the Kino edition. And um, if you buy the DVD from Amazon, you actually get a free digital copy, which you can watch anytime you want on Amazon Prime. And um, and if, or if you're just an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can watch the Kino edition, but you can only see one of the the alt the alternate um, audio tracks. You can only watch with one of those with the main one. But if you have the DVD, you can select which one you want to see. And um, there's some other interesting um, images and stills, um, photographs and stuff from the set, which are a lot more higher quality than the film itself, that are included as extras on that set. So it's definitely a cool thing to pick up if you can. But yeah, um, that's my review of the cabinet of Dr. Caligari, and I hope you liked it, and I hope you liked this kit, and I cannot wait to see um, what Luke and Ryan do this week. I know Luke did a really cool marathon. He's been telling me about it, and I can't wait to see what he did. There's a lot of silent films that I have never seen, so I would really like to film a first watch this week. I'm not sure if I can because this is a very busy week for our family, but if I do get the chance, I promise I'll film a first watch. If I have time to watch a movie at all, I'll film a first watch and um, post it up here on the Blu-ray Brothers channel. But either way, there's going to be some good content this week um, from what I've been hearing from Luke and Ryan. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing what what's coming this week. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.